In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this basic 3D screen effect in Premiere Pro. Here inside Premiere, I have two clips on the timeline. So the first thing I'm gonna do is grab the playhead and take it to the point to where I want the second clip to begin, and then drag that second clip onto video layer number two up against the playhead. Then I'm gonna go over here to these double arrows and go down to effects, and I'm gonna type in basic 3D. Take basic 3D and drag it onto that second clip. And then I'm gonna go up here to effect controls and then scroll down here to basic 3D. I'm gonna to toggle the stopwatch for swivel, tilt, and distance to image. And then I wanna change the distance to image to 53. Then what I'm gonna do is go forward 35 frames. Now what I'm gonna do is go up here to swivel and type in 2X. And that's gonna have that rotate two times. I also wanna go down here where it says distance to image. And I'm just going to click this add slash remove keyframe button. And then I'm gonna go forward three more frames and I'm going to change the distance to image back to zero. Then I'll go ahead and play back what we've made so far. Now that looks pretty good, but there's a few additional things that I can add. So I can start by going over here to the effects again and type in Gaussian Blur, and I'm gonna click and drag Gaussian Blur onto the first clip this time. I'm gonna take the playhead to the very beginning of clip number two. Make sure that I'm online with this keyframe that I have here for the swivel, tilt, and distance to image, and then make sure that you click on video number one, and then you've selected effect controls, and then go down here to Gaussian Blur, select the stopwatch for blurriness, and then go ahead and click on video number two again. Press this little go to next keyframe button, and that's gonna take you to that second keyframe. Click back on video number one under effect controls here again and change this blurriness to about, let's go with 45, that looks pretty good. And then go ahead and play that back. You can also play around with this little tilt feature here as well. It's just gonna make the video go up and down. I'll change this to something like two times so you can see an example of what it looks like. And that looks pretty crazy too. It's really just a personal preference. You don't have to do that, but it's just something cool that you can play around with. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.